What's up guys, welcome back to Bass Brothers Fishing DMV. Naeem here, here to give you a quick update on my Jumbo to bass boat conversion. I wish I had good news guys, but I was out here yesterday trying to mount my trolling motor. Very excited about that because I'm very near the finish line guys, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Got my base all set up, carpeted, ready to go. Got my trolling motor where I wanna install it. And then I realized I made a huge mistake guys my foot control does not reach into the tray far enough to where it can sit flush. Matter of fact, this is as far as it can go. If I try to move it any closer, it pulls the trolling motor that way towards you. So let me give you a close up view of what everything I did, where I'm at, and then what the solution is gonna be. So guys, as you can imagine, I was completely blown by this. Next steps after this was to literally finish the deck, and I haven't even put this out there yet on YouTube, but I've already made all the cuts from my deck, so it's literally install the trolling motor, get the fish finder in, cut my hatches, carpet, and I'm on the water. That's not gonna happen as planned, guys. And it's been a real struggle with this because, I mean, look at this, this thing was set up perfect. And I mean, I was going crazy. One of the reasons why I'm doing this, guys, is so that if there's anyone out there installing a trolling motor from scratch, that meaning they don't have an existing motor they're just replacing, make sure that you don't make this mistake. Part of the process needs to be take your trolling motor out. And guys, I had this trolling motor in a box. You can look at all the previous videos. The box was standing right against that wall for at least three months. I had it in the box and did not take it out. And honestly, guys, I didn't know. I didn't know that one of the steps I should have taken was to take it out and make sure that that cable is long enough to reach the foot control where I want it. Make sure you do that, guys, if you're stalling in a trolling motor and you don't have an existing one, part of the process needs to be take that bad boy out the box, get it in the position where you think you wanna install it and make sure it all works out. I did everything right for this, make sure I had the center of the boat perfectly lined up in order to put the, the tray in place where I wanted it, but guess what? it's in the wrong location. It's not far back enough in a boat. All right, so as you can see, guys, the tray is pretty close to the front of the boat, and there's two reasons why I have it so far up to the front. One, I wanted to, I wanted to create as much usable space on the deck to actually fish and not have the pedal seat or other things in the way. Two, I wanted the tray and the trolling motor and fish finder to be on its own deck. And what I mean by that is this is its own piece. As you can see, it stops right here and then the next piece will start here. I wanted it all up here concentrated because if I ever wanna access or have to remove my deck, I don't wanna have to unscrew anything up here. I want this to be fully intact I can always remove the middle section of the deck, get under there, do whatever I need to do, and put this portion of the deck back in place. Next thing is, what do I do from here? Let me show you what I got. All right, so I came out here today, guys, and pretty much just put my head to it to figure out different alternatives, different solutions, and what I should do. I did contact Minkota to see if they could just sell me a longer cable, and they do not make longer cables for this trolling motor. So that was a dead end. So what I'm gonna end up doing, guys, is moving this back to about here. So I'm gonna have to cut this out as well. I'm gonna put some metal sheeting here to close that up and I'll screw it in and, or bolt it in one or the other. That way this will be as strong as it was before. If I need to put some extra supports under here like I did right there, I'll do that as well. But I'll make sure that this deck is very sturdy whichever way I go. What I'm gonna do is start over guys. I'm gonna redo this entire front deck, but instead of stopping it here, I'm gonna stop it right here. So I'll end up recessing the tray right here and then continue the deck as planned going back. So I think I'll be able to salvage this piece. I'll have to cut off some of this because I'll make it longer on this end, but I'm gonna try to use as much of this piece that I've already cut. And guys, as you can see, I mean, it's ready to go. I was so close, so very close, but brush myself off. We're gonna keep things going, keep things moving. So one little blessing in this, they say everything happens for a reason, and I'm gonna to try to take the positive out of this, is having the front deck stop here will actually help me be able to cut out my hatches. And what I mean by that is, before I secure the front deck to the boat, I'll remove it. I'll be able to reach under here and trace out my hatch. And once I'm able to cut out one hatch, I can then reach in and trace out the others and cut them out. Cause that's something that can be really difficult to get right is to cut your hatch 
inches out for the exact size you need them. So that's just a little bright side to this whole thing, but believe me, it's a huge blow. I already ran out today, got some more wood from Lowe's, so I'm ready to go, guys. So guys, just wanna give you a sneak peek of what I've done back here and what I've done with the boat. I'll have a full video on all of this, but I figure while I'm doing this quick vlog, just give you a quick sneak peek into some of the work I've done with the decking. As you can see, I've made all my wood cuts, guys. Next steps would be cut out the hatches, get it all carpeted and done. The back is looking really well. I think I'll start with the back hatches first. Got the cutout for the outboard motor. The flooring is all nicely done. Rod locker is gonna be awesome. Of course, you guys know the control panel, the plug-in for the charger is in place. But don't worry, guys, I will put out a full video on the decking. All right, guys, so again, just wanted to give you a quick update. And don't worry, I will show everything in full detail as I go. I recorded a lot of footage for you guys. A lot of that is usable because the steps are still the same. The end result will be different, though. But don't worry, I'll continue to show you everything in full detail as I go. And I'm gonna make quick work of this, guys. This is a setback. It's gonna set me back probably about a good week but I promise you guys I'm gonna make quick work out of this and grind this out because I am so 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 ready to get this boat on the water so as always thank you for rocking with me thank you for supporting this build supporting the channel following us through this entire journey again if you're new to the channel hit the link in the description below start to finish full jumbo to bass boat conversion and yeah guys gonna kick it off tomorrow get back to the grind but stay tuned guys it's gonna be an awesome build still and guess what in the end it's gonna work out better than it would in the first place I just had to get my head over what happened. Anyway guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, leave us that thumbs up. We'll catch you on the next video.